Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, the National Director of the Pope's Worldwide Prayer Network, and today is the Eucharistic Feast, the Solemnity of the Body and Blood of Christ. In our Gospel, we hear about how Jesus took a few loaves of bread, multiplied that bread, and then fed thousands. Jesus could have created the bread from nothing, but he wanted to show us how important it is for us to work together to ease the sufferings of humanity. Through the Holy Eucharist, Jesus is present in the Blessed Sacrament and also in us, his body, sent out into the world to show the love of Jesus in word and action. Here's something Pope Francis said about this. The Last Supper represents the culmination of Christ's entire life. It is not only the anticipation of his sacrifice, which will be rendered on the cross, but also the synthesis of a life offered for the salvation of the whole of humanity. Therefore, it is not enough to state that Jesus is present in the Eucharist, but one must see in it the presence of a life given and partake in it. When we take and eat that bread, we are associated into the life of Jesus. We enter into communion with him. We commit to achieve communion among ourselves, to transform our life into a gift, especially to the poorest. Today's feast evokes this message of solidarity and urges us to welcome the intimate invitation to conversion and to service, love, and forgiveness. It urges us to become with our life imitators of that which we celebrate in the liturgy. The Eucharist, source of love for the life of the Church, is the school of charity and solidarity. Those who are nourished by the bread of Christ cannot remain indifferent to those who do not have their daily bread.